Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I do have to pre-warn before I start this episode. The previous episode I realised was really messed up in terms of the audio. Unfortunately my mic has truly betrayed me and I cannot figure out how to fix it. It's just gone really, really, really quiet. And in this video now you're just hearing it like the gain's been boosted to the point where it's audible again, which isn't ideal because it means that some of my other settings and background noise and my keyboard clicking will be louder. We're going to just play and see, but I lost three whole recordings from that, so I have been playing as the Tainted Lost. Um, I just unfortunately don't have any of that footage for you because the audio was so shot. I did still want to upload the video of me unlocking them though because it's kind of a milestone. It was a good video. I'm going to try and fix the audio. I hope it was okay for you guys. If not, you didn't see it and... This is just Tainted Lost. I unlocked it in the last episode. It was kind of nuts. I managed to get the missing poster and go to the beast and unlock the Tainted Lost all in one run. It was pretty awesome. Either way, I'm just going to jump in. I've got my mic somewhat set up to allow for me to record again. We'll basically just see if this is okay or not. Um, but yeah, we're playing with the Tainted Lost Redux mod on. Um, for good old Tainted Lost, this guy is like my favourite goddamn character in the entire game. I just He's so fun. Like... You don't have to feel bad about dying and stuff, he's nice. But yeah, we have the Tented Lost Redux mod on, which gives you a, a very brief amount of invincibility when you enter every room to make sure you don't get BS deaths. It means that, like, Rainbow Poops and Eternal Hearts will um, give you a, a Holy Mantle charge. Hol um, the uh, Tented card, what the hell are the cards called? The Holy Cards? Holy Cards? Um, have a 15% chance of dropping from Tinted Rocks. Um, mimic chests have been replaced by haunted chests. Uh, there's a bunch of different things like that that just make the character a little more like balanced and normal. Uh, all defensive items have been removed, in, like any remaining ones, like the Book of Shadows, have all been removed. So in that sense, he is a bit harder. Uh, and yeah, overall, a, a mod that I actually really, really, really enjoy for just making the character more of what he should be, and uh, also removing a bunch of really useless things. Oh my god, I've been hit already. That boss is <laughs> not one that I can be friends with, I'll be honest. That's not one that I'm good with. But yeah, hopefully, basically, I'll just, I don't want to go into it too much in terms of, um, in terms of what happened. Uh... <laughs> okay, I don't want to go into it too much and, and bang on about it too much in terms of what happened. But essentially, um, yeah, my mic has just like randomly decided to turn itself down to like, 10% of the volume it used to be and I have a bunch of um, filters on my mic to make sure that it filters out background noise and all that sort of good stuff for you guys um, and because of that when my mic gets really quiet it accidentally is going to be filtering out uh, my voice and it did that and it filtered out quite a lot of my voice and it made it a lot harder to hear me and some sentences were cut off and stuff and so like I said I have tried to remedy it and hopefully I can find a fix I I'm not sure if it's hardware or software just per I, I personally believe at the minute it is software related just because it'd be really strange for that to be hardware related I think um but I guess we'll just find out as we go won't we um and we'll see what we can do don't you dare you little black ball god damn it trying to screw me over with Bob's brain oh damn random ass holy cards gotta love it now this guy hits me all the time so gotta be careful with him random ass holy card here I like that I like that a lot Gimme, gimme, gimme. Can't take the reflected items because that will use a charge of uh, our holy mantle. It's a shame. Boom. Boop that guy. Bomb here. No bomb there. Okay. I mean, we've got golden bombs, so I'm going to do my due diligence here and try and get what we can. I don't have super long to record this video. This, this video is honestly kind of more of a test. There's a chance you guys don't even see this, but I wanted to tr test out these new mic settings and see if they're plausible for me to use for the time being until I either fix a software issue or inevitably buy a new mic because I'm paranoid. Uh, but anyways, we got a second holy card right now. We're in a really, really good spot. As for the question of the day, I think this is one I asked on one of the recordings you guys never saw. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? What's, what's, what's one of the biggest risks you've ever taken in your life? Whether it be like career-wise, like... I don't know, it'd be interesting to hear. Um, we have a painted card there? The Magician? When, did the, when the hell did we unlock that? I don't know. <laughs> I had to buy it just to see because I'm like, I don't remember having that. Why 
Where the hell's the second secret room laying? I guess it could be up at the very top there. I'll go check it out. I will go and check it out. See how long this run up's going. Oop. Skirt, skirt. Really? What the heck? What the dickens? What the hell is it? I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. I'm not going to spend too much more time faffing around looking for it. Because I just don't know. That, that was that was pretty awesome to be able to kill you that fast. I enjoyed that thoroughly. And a bit of a speed upgrade. Not bad. Sad to uh, not have golden bombs for the following floor, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, if, if you guys notice any big difference with my microphone or my background noise, please do let me know. Um, and I, I, like I said, I, I want to try and fix it and get it back to normal. But if this is acceptable for now, then at least we have a decent patch job. I will take that most certainly. Just be careful with Bob's brain here. We only have one bomb now, so don't go... Don't go using a bomb on this guy. Good, this guy fires homing shots right. Good, he's taken care of. Okay, very happy with how that went. A very good item grabbed for us there indeed. Oh god. Slightly risky one here. I think as long as I'm cautious about Bob's brain, I don't think Bob's brain can hit these white... Uh, that, I was just about to say, I don't know if it can hit those little white ones, but I'm not going to risk it. It most certainly can. That is horrible that it can hit those. Right, let's be very, very careful around them. Knowing it can hit them causes us all sorts of issues. Uh, we get Mad Onion here. Rather nice. 5% uh, chance to fire a very, very special shot that does a lot more damage. It does remove any potential tier effects from the shot, though. But I think that's a willing sacrifice to pay. There you go. Got you two. I think, honestly, as long as I'm like careful with Bob's brain, it's actually a pretty good item for us early on. In the late game is where it gets a little more horrible to have because it can it can really cause us some trouble. Uh, but right now, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I've just got to be somewhat cautious about it. I really goddamn hate this. So they have spectral shots as well. Got you. Good, good. And yeah, they always, always bloody move. Oh, open mind. We can go to the alt path and get double items. Hell yes, if you get this thing early, it's so damn good. Trying my best here to not get hit by these guys, but the win of the game at this point. But yeah, no more spike chests, which is awesome. Really just there to be an annoyance and nothing more. Good thing is Bob's brain, it doesn't have spectral. It's not going to blow up enemies through walls. This open. A few bits and bobs there. Little tainted lost fella, little friend. Yeah. Unfo oh, oh, oh. Unfortunately, actually, this rock did fill a little bit. Got a key out of it at least, or something. Line up for the bob's brain, there you go. Do as much as we can with that thing when we can. Synth oil, real good here. Um, and Fettered Heart is pretty good too. We'll take that. And we're definitely going Alt Path now that we have Open Mind because we can get extra items. It's definitely riskier. Um, I'm not going to take that. That is a really good card, but it takes you to a black market. That the only way to escape is to go to the next floor, which would mean we'd lose our spare Holy card. And I just don't think that's worth it at all. That's not worth it. Although, actually, if we lose our Holy card, then if we, if we uh, end up losing our spare, then yes, it is worth it, actually. Uh, I've changed my tune on that already. Changed my tune on that one already. Yeah, that's a reasonable... I won't say high, but a reasonable chance of getting... Really? Bob's brain? Gonna hit there? There you go. Um, at getting another holy card, because it spawns five cards, and it's a 10% chance to replace any card. It's a 50% chance at getting a holy card there. Worth taking. I'm exactly sure what you guys do, but don't want to find out. And then we can take both of these, so we get look for... Wasn't expecting an enemy in here. It's slightly scary. Can you calm down, fella? And we also get... Hey! Pretty good. Piercing. 
Oh, the plot is not for me. Yeah, bit of piercing there. Stay over the rocks at this point, I think. Staying over the rocks is fine, but you've just got to be careful when Bob's brain spawns back in to not be at a position where it can actually explode. Like that. That was almost a bad one there. Luckily, you can kind of somewhat force it to miss. And that kind of works in your favour. It doesn't always miss is the problem. It doesn't always miss. More money. It's kind of good that it doesn't launch as soon as you enter the room, but sometimes you kind of want it to. There's perfection. I'm on it. Wait. I think I'm going to say no to perfection, which is weird for a run. But just if we stick on the alt path, we can get so many more items here. And with the obviously better items that Tainted Lost has, I think that's very, very good. Of course, the fact, the fact is the alt path is harder, so we'll see if that ends up paying off. It might be a really bad thing for us in the end. Well, off that, I guess. Doesn't really make a difference to us. That's a D6 room. Ooh, although... Oh, wait, no. Um, can I do this? Yeah, there you go. Fuck you! That's not all what I meant to do, you cheeky little shithead. Oh, that was kind of mean. <laughs> it used it on the thing closest. I kind of get it because I was closest to that one. But I didn't think I was touching it. Fuck you. <laughs> that was just mean. That was just mean. Let me use it on something I didn't want to use it on. Get that bomb out of here. Oh, hello. Didn't expect you. Did not expect you. Rough. Kind of rough as well. Hey, not too bad of a room, actually. Kind of an interesting one. Good. Oh, I see you, fella. Luckily, Fettered allows us to see exactly where you're coming from. There is another one over here, look. There now. These guys can be really bad for uh, Bob's brain here, so I'm being cautious as all hell with them. Where's the item room? I need the item room. I left perfection without a home for this. Don't like this situation. Ah, you bastard. The goddamn skull boys kind of threw me off there. I ended up Bob's braining myself. It was bound to happen at some point. I just didn't know when. And we get, ooh, this is really good. Um, permanent curse of the blind effect. All pedestals are hidden. Each item, each time a pedestal item spawns, 50% um, chance to spawn another one. Both love, oh, that would have been great with perfection, sadly. Uh, not getting anything for that. Hive mind, jumper cables. Great grab for us there. Great grab. Gotta hope we live now. <laughs> Just gotta hope we live. Oh, this is rough. This is really rough. I do not like this at all. Because there's just so many enemies now to, like, hit my Bob's brain on. Fucking get away! Dude! This boss sucks big penis. God damn. Not enjoying this at all. This is stressful as fuck. <laughs> dude, why are you firing so many fucking burns at me, dude? 
He's bringing them back. What the hell is this bullshit? Calm down. Oh, what? Okay. 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 I see, I see. That is... Ugh. Clutch. I never really thought about how absolutely hideous that would be. Oh my god. It's playing Tainted Loss. Anyways, one sec. Okay, let's keep this trainer rolling. Let's keep this trainer rolling. Singe soon. Um, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting run, but Clutch, wow. I never considered how horrendous of a boss Clutch would be if you're playing as Tainted Lost. He is brutal to get to like not get hit against. Especially with Bob's brain. Bob's brain made that so much harder than it had to be, because I was just so worried I was gonna hit one of the uh the the, the skeletons and uh spawn a, an explosion directly on my bombs, but hey her. Good. I do your little running thing. I will open up one of these. Hey, I get squeezy a lot. Like, on our, on our past few runs that I've done as Tainted Lost, the ones that are lost to the ether, I got squeezy as well. Luckily, it didn't mess out on anything crazy. We got one pretty good run with, like, quad shot and stuff. Um, but there was no, like, insane synergies. I think that last run we just had was probably our best one. Right. But yeah, luckily, I didn't get any completion marks in those videos because they would have been... Annoying to have to re-edit like I, had, I did with the other one. I'm basically just going to boost the volume on that other video a lot. Unfortunately, it's still going to cut off a lot of my sentences just because of the uh, noise gate, but it's going to be hopefully a little more watchable. We'll see. Really hope you guys um, are okay with that because I'm not really. I'll be honest. I'm not okay with it. It's... I, I can't understate how fucking annoyed I was when I realised the that bug had occurred. I, I was so goddamn frustrated. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, I was so goddamn frustrated. Why? Why do you do this to me? Yes, yeah, so the blind. Sad to lose spirit of acceptance in that last run, especially after only getting two items from it. That's the way it fucking crumbles sometimes. Good. I still don't really get what this singe stones thing does. Like, look at why the fire's doing that. Is that is that helping me? Oh, there you go. 1.2 damage up from that trinket there. That'll hold me over until perfection. I might even keep it past perfection, depending on if I have any tier effects that work with. Obviously, the room drop from perfection are uh, a big part of it, but. For me, it's all about like getting like tough love with permanent teeth shots and stuff like that. But this damage right now is exquisite. A minute, I would much rather keep that. We do have a library here, which is certainly a useful thing for us. We can get another key, that is. We shall see. So far, nothing. Give me a hug, boy. Deck of cards. Okay, deck of cards is real good. <laughs> Deck of cards is very, very good. 10% chance of any card to be a holy card, so... Reasonable chance to get holy cards here and there. And also, just obviously, cards in general are pretty good. I mean, for this guy, you've just got obscene damage. This guy does... I can't remember if that guy does four charges or one charge. I think he does four. Luckily, I don't think we're going to have to find out. And we get ourselves matchbook, which seems to show up a lot for me. Golden bomb. Don't want that, sorry. That. And then, yes, nail polish is amazing. I'll quickly check for secret room here. I'm not going to go all the way back. To right, we go down, we go down. Okay, reasonably good run so far here. Reasonably good run so far. Still got a holy card working for us too. Got good damage. These little burn orbitals. That's a that's a foot right there. Need to chill out, love. With the devil card there. I'll probably just use this on this next room, to be honest. Especially when we've got the Curse of Conquest with all the champion enemies. Frog boys can shoot onto rocks. Didn't know that. We do now. You okay, dude? 
Where, where, where was your little brain? Okay, you split into two more. God damn it. Did you have to? Did that one just pick it back up straight away? Did it just spawn the brain under him? It fucking did. That's just cheeky. Where is this thing? Dude. Did he just do it again? This guy's just fucking pick... He's just spawning it and picking it straight back up again. Look at this bullshit. <laughs> you can't do that. That's not how you work, good sir. That's not how you work. There you go, you cheeky little cheater. Don't think we'll be having any more of that, will we? Luckily, champion enemies don't mean much for us, apart from, obviously, the slightly added HP. Otherwise, they are fine. Spectral makes this a little easier. One of these chests here. Gift card. Ooh, beautiful. Turned anything into a mysterious gift. Pretty damn good if we find our secret rooms. We get bad items in general. I'm guessing there's going to be a second wave to this room based on the fact that there's a bunch of skulls about. No, maybe not. Okay, weird. Keep you away from me. Damn it. You managed to grab one of those goddamn brains. Speeding around at the speed of sound. Okay. God, in this probably boss wear this. Oh, gosh. Do not like books here. I'll try and take out the little guys first. Wow, that one got a shot off on me. Okay, little buddy. I see, I see, I see. Didn't know it was going to play it like that, but showing your true colours. Hopefully we get a holy card here. Dude, can we fuck off with these enemies? I really don't like them. <laughs> very, very annoying. Dude! These, oh, these goddamn brains are too fast for me. Really not a fan of these enemies showing up so often. It, I'll be honest, it's just the case. Any enemy that has any amount of invincibility, I despise. Just, it's probably known by now, but I just think it's a dumb mechanic that shouldn't be in video game. <laughs> it just, all it does, like, this enemy is essentially no threat to me whatsoever. The bubbles might be, but the enemy itself is not very much of a threat to me. And it's, it's just all it's done is spent a, a bunch of time Wasting my time. Got you. Good, good. That's very nice. That's good too. In fact, at this point, I'm going to take perfection. Just because we just got that look upgrade, it means we get a ton of chests. I'm sad to see the damage go, but I think it makes sense. Here. Yeah. Two good items. I don't think 5, 4.5 volt is the right thing for us right now. Chaos, I would I would definitely take. Chaos is chaos, and I like it. A bit of craziness. Them crabs. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Crab ran me right into that enemy. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right, let's go for one more. See how we do. If we get any good items or anything. Oh, really? I'm going to stick with this one, though. That's, that's a really bad start, but... I feel like I can't just keep restarting. Euphoria is also not great. But it's also not terribly. I'm going to play this one through, though, and see if we can, get, see if we can make something work. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to see more Tinted Lost videos, let me know, because I really thoroughly enjoy playing as this guy. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I really enjoy Tinted Lost, um, and I think they add a lot of challenge to runs. It'd be cool to, like, do, like, a little series of just playing a bunch of the Tinted Lost and, and regular Lost if people want to see it. Because I, yeah, I really thoroughly enjoy 
playing as this character and lo normal loss. This one more so, but not bad. These fellas here. Do I calm down, Mr. Spin Wheel? Spin Wheel, Spin Wheel. Don't want to deal with you. Oh, no. We got this boss. This absolutely heinous boss. If I don't die to this guy, I'm going to be surprised. I'm probably going to die to one of these goddamn flies. Oh, no, we got it, we got it. We're good. Wow. I'm surprised. That guy normally gets me. Binky is pretty good here. A nice tier rate up. I like it. Smaller size as well, I guess, helps. Fortune shots here are probably going to be reasonably annoying, but we get a bit of a stat upgrade for it. I don't mind. I'm sure it'll uh, do, do a funny and predict my death as well. They are at least somewhat see-through. Not really great, is it? This double tap sneeze I don't think is going to play play too well into our cards considering uh, getting that close to an enemy is already a very, very bad idea. I think the fortune's really going to be a problem when it comes to certain bosses. Otherwise, it's kind of a... Ink flow. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I was going to say, at least get a few of them bomb. Good, good. Into our item room. That was good. Managed to kill most of the little guys and do good damage to him as well. If you could get near that barrel, that'd be real nice. We'll see if that happens though. But yeah, trying to use Euphoria here while he's still staying in one place. It's certainly helping out. Eye drops is so good too. And that's really good as well. We get a curse every floor, but we get a massive damage boost. Yeah. We'll try and stay firing in one direction here to get Euphoria popping. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Like, it's a nice bonus, but don't get yourself killed over it sort of thing. Burnheart does nothing for us. Yeah, going to have to turn around here. Lots of champions. Bumbo! Bumbo is obviously dangerous, but I do like him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him let him chill out. Three golem trinkets. Uh enemies close to the player are slowed and frozen on death. Taking damage temporary uh and chance to spawn a friendly lost soul in uncleared rooms. If it's still alive, it spawns a pickup reward. Chance to spawn a friendly lost soul in uncleared rooms. If it's still alive on room clear, it spawns a reward. Give that a go. Give that a go. I like the idea of that. I like the uh, the fact that you can get golem trinkets on other characters. So, my, f my first time finding it in a, run, in a run, actually, since I've unlocked it. Yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> this is a tricky room. There's a lot going on here. Good old Libri. Ooh, we got the pancakes again, baby. This book is so goddamn good. I got it on a previous episode. Uh, again, it might be one of the lost episodes. This thing, basically, it just kills anything with the lowest HP in the room. Unfortunately, that just has so happened to be our soul buddy there, which is not great. I didn't realize it'd be able to kill him. Um, so we're going to have to watch out for when he spawns because we don't want to use the book when he's in the room. But otherwise, it'll kill everything else with the lowest HP. But no soul buddy there, so it kills that guy. 
And like, if there's multiple enemies with the same HP value, which there often is in rooms, it'll just kill them all. So good. I see that coming, dude. I see that coming. We got a lost soul again. Curious to see what sort of rewards this gives us. Not great for this character, but that's a pretty good reward. There you go. All them dead. <laughs> Such a good active. Yeah, we'll see how we do against this guy. Could try use Euphoria here, but it's a little bit more tricky. Oh, you managed to kill my soul. God damn it. Okay. And we get perfection now. At this point, I probably just want to take perfection. It's just better. <laughs> it's sad to say, like, that's the one thing about Tainted Lost. It's like, it's great that you get perfection, but it means that, like, most of the trinkets are just pointless. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Go, Bumba. Eat. Eat, my child. Whoa, that's a lot of spiders that I just spawned there. We also got that. Consume all pickups in the room and grants a small permanent damage up for each pickup consumed. Eh, it's kind of interesting, but I think this book is just so much better. Look at that. <clears throat> Everything's dead. If you can get it to be a one-room charge, it would be actually, like, run-winning. Okay, just careful of the purple fires here. These guys are going to shoot at us. They are, they are. We can deal with it. Big room here. A few invincible buddies. Oh, healer dude needs to go now. He's doing some evil shenanigans that I don't much lack, don't much care for. It's just so nice. Stop spawning all the goddamn spiders, please. So many chests now. Always forget how many chests you get once you've got perfection. Right, let's go for our boss here. Again, try and use Euphoria if we can, but unfortunately, actually, this boss, just due to his jumping, it's not going to be super plausible. Actually, we're getting a little bit of it going here. Nice. There you go. I've already been to the item room as well. Money equals power is probably a little bit better here. And I'm just going to go straight to the next floor. I've already seen my item room, so I'm already reasonably happy with that. Wait, have I seen... Yeah, I got mum's, I got mum's wig, didn't I? Of course. Got mum's wig. Of course I did. Oh, God. Troll bomb kind of scared me. It was, like, delayed. Because <laughs> it spawned on the room clear. Easy. This book is amazing. This book is amazing. I solved so many rooms. Ah, oh, bugger. Exploded onto me. Anyways, we'll leave it there for that episode. If people want to see more Tainted Lost, let me know. I hope this audio on this video is a lot better. It might be a bit too loud. I'll, I'll tweak with things either way. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.